Hey everybody, this is SW Chris. I'm from SW City, and this is the official Building Zelda Voxel Sniper tutorial. That's right. Uh, if you actually want to see any of the actual terraforming and time lapses and cool stuff, you'll want to click this button to go right to episode one. Right there, right in front of me. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started on the tutorial. This tutorial is going to explain some of the basics of Voxel Sniper and pretty much uh, will kind of fill you in on what I'll be doing in the time lapses as I terraform the landscapes. So here we go. Without further ado, the Voxel Sniper tutorial. Okay, so what Voxel Sniper is, is it basically lets you create adventure maps without having to build everything one block at a time. The default brush is the Snipe Brush and it only affects a single block. Its block type is set to air, and it's set to replace materials, which is uh, kind of a fancy name for any Minecraft block you can build with. Uh, to use it, you right-click on the arrow or the gunpowder. Uh, the arrow replaces a block you right-clicked with air, and the gunpowder adds a block next to the block you right-clicked. Uh, since the material is set to air right now, it's just adding air, so you can't really see anything. Um, it's kind of handy to think of the arrow as a subtraction and replacement tool and the gunpowder as an addition tool. The arrow will replace blocks already replaced or in the case of erosion brushes it will destroy blocks while the gunpowder will create new blocks. What we have to do next is choose the material we're going to use. Now to change the material you want to type V and then the item ID or the name. So. Um, let's say bedrock so just type in bedrock and it gives you the item id right there in the chat uh, next to the name so that's handy if you want to keep a list you can also refer to minecraft wiki uh, they also have a list of uh, the item ids now the item id includes most types of minecraft blocks except the ones who share the same item id uh, which we're going to get to in just a moment the next thing we have to talk about is brushes it's best to think of brushes um, as determining uh, what blocks will change. So, like if you're painting in Photoshop, uh, what type of brush tool you use and where you click your mouse determines which, which pixels will change. Uh, in the same way, uh, the type of brush tool you use and where you right click is going to determine what uh, blocks, blocks you'll replace, or voxels, I guess. Um, to set the brush type, you type B, and then what you do is you type the letter ID of the type of brush you want to use. There's a whole bunch of brushes, but what we're going to focus on are seven types. Uh, there's the disc brush, um, which creates a horizontal disc. Um, there's the voxel, which places a block of blocks. Let me go ahead and uh, demo these. Okay. Okay. So there's the disc brush, which creates a horizontal disc. There's the voxel, which creates a block of blocks. There's the ball, which creates a ball of blocks. And then there's the voxel disc. And the voxel disc is going to create a horizontal one block thick rectangle of blocks. The disc face, uh, which is slash BDF, oops, is going to create a face of discs on uh, one block, just basically adjacent to the face of the block you click. So if you click on that side, it's going to create a, a block like a, a disc like this. And if you click right here, it's going to create a disc like this. So let's just undo both those. And then there's the voxel disk face, which is the VDF. And it does the same thing, except it puts a square. And uh, then there's this new one that I'm not quite sure what it does. BCVD, the voxel checker disk. It basically creates, it looks like a square of checker pattern blocks in a flat space. So that is probably handy if you want to create a checkerboard tiling effect. The next thing we need to do is set our brush radius. And that's very easy. You just type B and then a number. Now the radius is half the size of the brush. So if you set the brush to 4, 
and I'm going to set up to a voxel. You're going to get a voxel eight blocks by eight blocks by eight blocks. So always keep in mind that the radius you want is half the size of the brush you want. Okay, we'll undo that. Now we're going to set what are called brush performers. Since brushes determine what blocks are going to change, the performer is an option that determines how those blocks are going to change. Um, there's two types of performers. There's the material. Um, that's the default performer. Um, setting your performer to material means your brushes are going to modify the entire Minecraft block that uh, you that you know that's in the selection region. Um, now there's ink, uh, which just kind of affects what ink is on the block. So some Minecraft blocks come in multiple data values. So the example is, let's say, wood. So we're going to take a wood block here. So this wood block is item ID 17, V17 log. And you can see if I create a voxel, just going to create a voxel of logs. But this, uh, this item, this material, has 16 different item IDs. So it's one for oak, spruce, birch, and jungle, and all three possible orientations that they have, you know, up, down, north, south, east, and west, um, plus um, a data value for each type of wood that is nothing but um, just the bark. So it has bark on all six faces instead of four. Think of these data values as different paint jobs that the dirt block can have, uh, paint jobs which you can change by setting the performer to ink. Uh, there is also a third type of ink, which is not really a third type. It's actually a combination of both. So you can change both the material and ink at once. Uh, so this will come in handy when you're creating blocks like birch from thin air, uh, which shares its item ID with the other types of wood. Now performers are used in two parts, and they're part of the B command. The first value describes what you are placing. Is it going to be material, ink, or both? The second value is only optional and it describes what you are replacing. Again, you can choose from material, ink, or both. Uh, yeah. If you're not replacing anything, just leave it off. All right, so now let's put this all together. I'm gonna set everything back to default. To set the material we're gonna sculpt with, we're gonna type V bedrock, V, not B. Okay. And that's because I wanna work with bedrock for now. Now we're going to set the brush type. So we're going to set, the, set it to a voxel. Now I want the voxel to be a 10 block cube. So I'm going to set the radius, which is half the size of the brush, to 5. Okay. Now I have no need to change the performer since by default it's already set to material and bedrock only has one data value. And so that means I also don't need to change what ink I'm using. So I'm just going to right click and voila, we have a 10 by 10 by 10 voxel cube of bedrock. Okay. And we're going to do this a couple more times. That looks nice. Okay. All right. So I've done this a couple times and I'm ready to change the brush I'm using. So I'm going to type BB because I think the ball brush sounds good. The second B tells Voxel Sniper to use the ball brush. And I also want to type the material, change the material I'm using. I'm just going to type v, uh, v sand. And this is good because sand is susceptible to gravity and makes it a great terraforming tool um, because when the sand falls, it kind of hugs the, uh, the terrain below it. So normally if I just uh, right click, the sand is going to just fall into the void like that. And down it goes. But performers are going to help us keep that from happening. So what I'm going to do is, you just saw me. Okay, so I typed U to undo my change. Um, do remember that it won't delete, delete any blocks that fall out of the brush size range. So if you mess up and you're placing sand or gravel, um, it's going to leave a few of those types of blocks laying around. So now I'm going to type in BBMM. And that's going to tell Voxel Sniper to use the ball brush to place one material in the place of another. 
And what we need to do is define what those materials are going to be. So, we need to set the block to replace, uh, which in, in this case is going to be air. So we're going to type VR0. Yeah, VR0. That's voxel replace 0. And the material I'm sculpting with has already been set to sand, but normally you do this by typing in vSand. So, now when I right click, our brush is going to use the ball shape and replace anything within that region with sand. And of course the sand's going to fall down a little bit. But this is very handy for mountain building because you can just stack balls on top of each other and you'll have a very nice mountain peak even if you're not building on top of a couple of giant voxels so it, it's it's very useful and it's one of the techniques I'm going to be using uh, when I build the map later on alright so that's it for the voxel sniper tutorial if you want to see me use these things go ahead and click on this button right here uh, that will take you right to episode 1 where we terraform Link's Meadow Till then, I'll see you next time. Auf Wiedersehen, Arrivederci, hasta la vista, and good night. Oh hell. Oh hell. Okay. You stupid thing. Okay. That's just scary. This is just not working out. <laughs> Uh, so, I don't know if you can remember the trail of thought here, because I sure can't. Uh, so, let me get up more hollow, more level ground here, maybe. No. Oh, you stupid thing, come on, what is wrong with you? I think his pathing is bugged. He does not want to follow me. Look at that, he just zoomed right over. Alright, there we go. Finally. Really annoying. Alrighty, so yeah. Anyway, the sh long story short is there's a lot of partner networks out there seeking to, to take advantage of you. In the same way agents are. I can't wait till we get the ocean. Of course, maybe he'll drown if we do that. Alright, there he is. Are you coming? Come on, bud. Oh, for the love of Pete, he's not climbing. No, don't walk that way. I want you to walk this way. Okay. The burrows are bugged. Alright. Cut.